You won't have seen many updates or anything from me for a while because I've been traveling for two weeks. I've been meaning to make this video for quite a few days. I've been having so much fun and I've done so many interesting things lately that I think that in the last two weeks I've done more stuff than I've done cumulatively in the last eight years. I'm serious. <laughs> so I thought I would tell you about my experience in Leipzig in Germany at Wave Gothic Treffen. <sighs> I can say with absolute sincerity that Wave Gothic Treffen was the best thing I have ever done. Nothing is ever going to live up to it. I will never have fun again because nothing will ever be as good. Currently I'm sat here in California, it's what I mean I've been trying to make this video for a while. I really wanted to vlog my whole experience in Germany. But I guess I'm the opposite of a lot of people in the sense that I don't like to go to a thing and take a lot of photos and record a lot of videos. I would rather experience the amazing event that I'm at and create memories rather than go there and create memories of taking photos of an amazing event. <laughs> you know, does that make sense? I would rather ex I would rather be present and experience the thing. I did do some vlogging, but I didn't end up doing as much as I would have liked to. It might be a bit piecemeal, but here we go. So while it's all still relatively fresh in my mind, let's go through what I did in Leipzig. The best week of my life. Period. Hello, my name is Freitag Schwarz, and I come from New Zealand. I mag tea mit milch. Tschüss. I'm in Germany. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I already had a crazy person come up to me and tell me to like go find God. <laughs> At least I think that's what he was saying. I, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I've spent like two weeks trying to learn German. That wasn't enough. I didn't have much time to really sit down and try and learn it. I found the Starbucks and I was like uh, I'm Mocha Vita. <laughs> and she's like, cool, would you like that with coffee or cream? Got <laughs> one of those bread pretzel things, and um, I'm sure there'll be many more where that came from. But again, I was like, I'm Logan Pretzel Vita. And then <laughs> she said, would you like to have here or take away? So I'm trying, but I'm really embarrassing myself with my appalling, appalling German that I've learned in the last two weeks. So look behind me. It begins. Day number two in Leipzig. I was having way too much fun yesterday to remember to do much vlogging, but I'll update you on what I've done. Ooh, I'm come on. <laughs> I've had four hours sleep, but I've had a lot of caffeine and I'm ready to face another day. Last night I went to a party very near where I'm walking actually and it was fucking amazing. As a person coming from New Zealand, as a person coming from New Zealand where there is absolutely nothing, oh my god, no way! VNV Nation, in again, in again. So weird to think that there are actually bands here I can see that I've only like heard of. Oh, people are staring at me. It's not weird. Ah. Look at them all, look at them all, they're everywhere. <laughs> No. It's like a little black plague. <laughs> Except it's not little. Goths, goths everywhere. Never seen so many. Anyway, I was at this party last night. It was fucking spectacular. I met so many people. It was all underground in this place called Moritz Baste or something that I can't pronounce properly. I know that today, because today is the day the Wave Gothic Treffen starts, and I know that, <laughs> that it's going to be more impressive, but that was the most goths I've ever seen in one place altogether. Like just room after room after room of different kinds of music and dancing. Hello, look at some more. Look at them all, look at them everywhere. And I bought this like bottle of I well, Instagrammed the picture, like cherry banana flavoured kitten wine. It was really good. Alcohol is so cheap here. Terrible things are going to happen in Germany. I'm just going to be drunk for the entire week, I think. I'm not drunk right now, but that's because it's only midday. The day is early. Plenty of time. I was communicating that day with Alison, with, you know, Kaz loves bats, <laughs> you know, from 
from YouTube. We met up in the evening and it was so awesome. It was so cool. Like, whoa, it was like worlds collide. The next day I went to, what kind of happened was, I'd never taken a tram. I really didn't know where I was going, but I was told to take one of these trams. Basically I just followed all the, the people wearing black. I thought well surely they'll be going somewhere that I want to go. Some people had told me to go to the Agra Hall so I understood that if I got off at this stop that I would I could just follow the people wearing black and it was easy to do right easy to follow the people wearing black because they were fucking everywhere there was just like rivers of them it was unreal. But we got off this tram stop and everybody like split off in two directions and I thought oh, okay fuck. I thought I would just follow everybody but they're all going different directions. Ah, oh, oh. Help! Right now I'm just following a bunch of people. I have no fucking idea where I am, where I'm going. That's all part of the adventure. I figure if I just follow these people eventually I'll get to somewhere I want to go. These people are going somewhere, probably it's somewhere that I'm gonna like anyway. So first of all I just followed this one crowd of people and ended up at this huge medieval market. Like purely by accident. And it was amazing! I just sort of wandered around, there was some cool celtic -y music playing, like jewellery and weapons and mead. I mean medieval stuff is not really my scene hugely but like I could, it was, it was a really nice atmosphere. I went back out and I went down the other direction that people had gone in and eventually found the Agra Hall. I just asked for directions, the directions were go right then right and then follow all the black people so I think I think I found the right place. See the giant black clusterfuck down the road? That's where I'm going. I don't really know what to expect. Now I'm being the Outside there's all these like food stalls and booze stalls and stuff. Inside they have the great big concert hall. And they had this massive hall full of vendors. <sighs> oh my god, like you could buy anything. Would any kind of stuff that a gothic person would want, you could get it. God, like I could have I could have bought so much stuff if I'd had the money, like <sighs> if I'd had the money and the room in my suitcase, I could have bought so much stuff. It was unbelievable. quickly. I really wanted to go see Jordan Rain who is a good friend of Mr. Al and she was playing at this other venue which was quite far away so like I got back on the tram I rushed back into town but by the time I got back into town like I was going to miss her gig and I was fucking gutted. So basically what I did was I got dressed up again and I went back out to the Agra Hall. I had a couple of glasses of wine. This night was just so good. It was so good. It turned out to be like like one of the best nights ever. I had a couple of glasses of wine and then I could hear this music and it was Dinah Lakine. It was so beautiful and mesmerizing just I have to go to the music where where's the entrance and I just sort of drifted there and I went in and it was so beautiful. <laughs> by the, the guy's voice and oh restart my heart it was beautiful 
Have I said beautiful enough? Have I made my point? Anyway, afterwards I went out and I found this stand selling, I guess, homebrew vodka full of fruit. <laughs> or some kind of homebrew booze full of fruit. And I bought one and it knocked me on my ass. And while I was standing there outside this stand drinking, this really tall dude, this like real friendly guy, starts talking to me and he was just like, Oh, you're so cute, you're so fluffy, you're my pet now. <laughs> and it was really adorable and, and so he bought me another one of these strawberry vodka things and oh that was that was I was fucking destroyed and him and his friends were like oh we're going to go to a party you should come with us and I'm like yeah okay I'll go with you so we jumped on the tram and I lost them on the tram during the tram ride I was like I am gonna pass out or throw up or something this was night time and when the area looked familiar I just sort of stumbled out of the tram and was like I don't know where I am I don't want to pass out right here in the middle of the road so I, I just saw these these three dudes up ahead, goths of course, like everybody was, <laughs> these three dudes and they were Italians and I just sort of stumbled towards them and was like, help me please, I'm alone and I'm really drunk and I don't know where I am. They were really nice and they like sort of half carried me to the party, like they were going to the same place. So I, I got there and eventually I found the, the people that I'd lost to start with. I met a couple of you guys there at that time and I was like, oh my god, talk about a terrible first impression. I met so many Belfry bats in Germany when I was wasted. Not at this particular point, just a couple, but other times <laughs> when I was drunk I'm like, oh my god, I swear I'm not this much of a manta. I got back to where I was staying, fell through the door, got home at like 6 in the morning or something and went to sleep. I had about two hours sleep. 